Hi, Junior 5 students. Today, we will revise Unit 3. First, I'll remember you that there are three types of food relationships among living organisms. Predation, symbiosis, and saprophytism. Symbiosis has three types, mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. Parasitism has two types, internal and external. Let's answer the following questions. Look at the following figures. Figure 1, mosquito and man. Figure 2, sponge and tiny aquatic living organisms. Figure 3, lion and deer. Figure 4, nodular bacteria and being a plant. Figure 5, bread mold fungus. Choose the correct answer. Choose the correct example with the suitable food relationship among the following living organisms. The first type of food relationship, both living organisms benefit from each other. Then, this food relationship is called, yes, mutualism. It's one type of symbiosis. Then, its example will be a number, yes, four. Nodular bacteria and being a plant. Because a nodular bacteria fix nitrogen as an important component for the soil. For growing being a plant. Also, being a plant provides bacteria with sugar. That is produced from photosynthesis process. The second type. They get their food by decomposing food remains. Then this type will be, yes, saprophytism. Then its example will be number five. Bread mold fungus, because mold fungus decomposes a bread. Third type. One living organism benefits and the, and the other neither benefits nor is harmed. This relation is called, yes, commensalism, which is one type of symbiosis. And its example will be number two, a sponge and tiny aquatic living organisms. Because tiny aquatic living organisms get food and shelter from canals found inside the sponge. Fourth type, one living organism benefits while the other is harmed. Then this food relationship is called parasitism. It's one type of symbiosis. Then its example will be number one, mosquito and man. Because mosquito is an external parasite that causes malaria disease to man as its host. The last type of food relationship, one living organism devours or attacks another one. Yes, it's predation. And its example will be number three, lion and deer. Lion devours deer. Then lion is called the predator, but the deer is called the prey. Let's move to the second question. Choose from column A what suits it in column B. Column A, 1, a mosquito, 2, flaria worm, 3, fleas. In column B, A, causes elephantiasis, B, conveys plague, C, causes malaria. As you see, this table explains two types of parasites internal and external in column A and many diseases that are caused by parasites in column B. 1. A mosquito. It's an external parasite that infects man by what disease? Yes, malaria. Then the answer will be 1C. 2. Flaria worm is an internal parasite that infects man by, yes, elephantiasis disease. Then the answer will be 2A. 3. Fleas. 
it's an external parasite that infects man by plague. Then the answer will be 3B. Question number three, cross the odd word. A, frogs, chameleons, bees, and birds. The odd word will be bees. Because they have a way to defend themselves against their enemies. This way is called mimicry. But others, frogs, chameleons, and birds have another way that is called camouflage. By changing their colors or standing on trees with the same colors. B. The forest, the universe, the desert, and the ocean. The odd word will be, yes, the universe. It's an example of very large ecosystem. Ecosystem means natural area that includes living organisms and non-living things. But others are examples of large ecosystem. C. A deer, a rabbit, a lion, and a rat. The odd word will be, yes, a lion. Because a lion is a predator, but others are prey. D. Dionia, bread mold fungus, penicillium fungus, and bacteria. The odd word will be, Dionia. Because it's an example of insectivorous plant that devours insects to get the proteins as food from their bodies. But others are saprophytes. They decompose bodies of dead organisms or remains of food. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.